Hello, and thank you for stopping by. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. If you are not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when new videos arrive. Well, in the news today, I came across something I thought was very interesting. Donald Trump has decided to open up an office and finish off his agenda that he couldn't finish as president. Now, my question is this. What makes Donald Trump think that he is going to be able to get anything done as a private citizen in the private sector that he couldn't get done as president? I understand it's wishful thinking, and, and I feel for the ones that voted for Donald Trump, and I feel for the ones that were upset when he lost. I really am. I really do feel for you. I do. I understand. It's not easy when your favorite guy loses. Just like my favorite team, the Seattle Seahawks, when they lose, that is not very fun. I don't relish the idea. I don't like the idea. Therefore, I believe that they got a bad turn. It's not that they played bad. It's not that the Seattle Seahawks didn't live up to their uh, reputation. It's that they got jipped. The other team cheated. The referee gave points to the other side when the referee shouldn't have done that. When actually the Seattle Seahawks just had an off day. Everybody has an off day. But when it comes to Donald Trump, for some odd reason, people out there, and I've had people tell me this. I was just speaking to a lady. Well, actually, I was writing her. I wasn't really speaking to her. I was writing her on Facebook. And we started off on the wrong foot. But then I started to kind of open her up a little bit. And she started to tell me about her love for Donald Trump and that she voted for him both times and she told me she doesn't really understand why she loves him so much but she does she doesn't really understand what he's gotten accomplished while he was president it's just that he was different he was like the new flavor of the week like ice cream when ice cream parlors they decide to um change out the flavor from one to the next and they carry that flavor for a while and it's satisfying to those that like that flavor and when you swap it out for another flavor they don't like that they like comfort with donald trump they understood what they were getting because they were knowing donald trump from his tv show and from what they saw in the news they didn't really get the chance they didn't really take the time to get to know Donald Trump as a person know him the way he really is so to that I say they needed to dig a little deeper but they loved what they liked and they gravitated to what they liked and they were afraid to dig deeper because they were afraid that the image of Donald Trump would somehow not be as good like you see food. The image makes it look really delicious and really gorgeous and oh I bet it tastes great but then you go and take a bite and it doesn't quite taste exactly the way you thought it was going to because you built up this image in your head of what you thought the taste would be like. Well, with Donald Trump, it's kind of the same way. A lot of people built up this image of Donald from his TV show. Uh, they built up an image from interviews they had seen in the past about how he believed on certain ideas for um, political. Um, his take on 9-11, uh, possibly. Um, 
they did softball questions back then, and he answered them because he wasn't running for president. So this time, he actually made it, and a lot of people expected the Donald Trump from the Celebrity Apprentice, Donald Trump, or from the Howard Stern, Donald Trump. They didn't realize that he was more like uh, a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of thing, to where they just basically knew the Dr. Jekyll. They didn't know the Mr. Hyde. And the Mr. Hyde was hiding right under the surface of the Dr. Jekyll. So, um, if you think of a reason that Donald should keep or to start that office, uh, I believe it's in Palm Beach or Palm Springs. Um, I'm not for sure exactly where it's at, but if you think that he can do some good in the private sector, carry on his agenda that he didn't get finished, I mean, what exactly can he do in his uh, private life? Uh, he can't build the wall. He doesn't have enough money to do that. Now, he can help push on. Now, I can see this. I can see Donald Trump in the private sector. He can work with Congress to help them get ideas done through his office, like uh, better ways to get the wall built, which, let's face it, you're not going to be able to build a wall all the way across Mexico. And even if you built the wall, it would have to be like the Great Wall of China. And even after that, they figured out how to get across that. The Great Wall of China is basically a tourist attraction now. Um, my idea, which I had before, would have been really great. Build the wall, put casinos inside the wall, and if you win, you get to become an American citizen. If you lose, you go back to Mexico. That's uh, just my idea that I had uh, when they started talking about the wall uh, down, in, uh, down in Mexico, American border. So, uh, again, if you can think of anything that Donald Trump had talked about getting done as president that he wasn't able to get done while he was in office because of the Democrats and the Republicans fighting him on this, let me know in the comment below, right down there in the comments. If you uh, want to subscribe to my video, please hit the subscribe button right down there. Um, I have uh, enabled the like and the dislike button. I really don't care if anybody dislikes my video because I figure, what the heck, they're just going to dislike it. So, having said that, I'm going to leave you on this note. Make America better than yesterday by doing the very best we can today.